You are now tuned in to Check This Out News. We connect the streets. All right, so each and every week we do our thing with Tech This Out News, Tech This Out Tuesday. Mike John's on the line. What's going on, man? Man, everything is good. How's everything on your end? Man, uh, good. Aside from all this uh, crazy information coming out during uh, the weekend, this Texas shooting, wow, very disheartening. Man, it, it's very crazy, and I think what's more shocking out of this is uh, this is a good example of where data algorithms tend to have a bias or can be deemed prejudice. And I say that because right now we have in play uh, the crimes under the predictive policing theory, uh, crimes that are done in your inner city neighborhoods, they can easily be predicted. And from that, we can know where the next crime is going to take place. But when you have situations such as the Texas shooter, uh, the, what happened in Las Vegas, they're under the radar for data. We just don't know these types of people. It's one thing to have a, a system in play for the community of Compton, East St. Louis, uh Oakland, California, inner city neighborhood, USA. But then when you're out there in Mayberry, what do you have in play? And then so th this is kind of interesting. And this, it really made a point in terms of is data and algorithms non-biased or can they be perceived biased? Well, let me ask you this, Mike. What can tech do to deter crimes? Because obviously these neighborhoods or cities probably have a lot more surveillance in lower income neighborhoods or, you know, where people of color might be in my mind. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think, you know, ultimately where I'd like to see tech hoping to deter crime is this whole, you know, I go back to the Minority Report movie with Tom Cruise and the establishment of a pre-crime unit. And I think in our last report, and we kind of talked on the subject of what's going on in China and their um, progressiveness towards a pre-crime unit, we're going to be seeing that more and more in the U.S. where it, the, the deterrent here is going to be to know who's going to do the crime before it happens. And this is where this opens up a whole new can of worms in which it's not just someone from the inner city, but it can be anybody. And it goes back to copycat, right? It's mm -hmm. uh, anybody, any face, any gender can commit the crime. And so this is where pre-crime unit will have to step in. And the government is already doing funding for this and, and working aggressively to establish this. But that'll be the ultimate uh, solution to this. Let's switch gears, man, and talk about our president. It appears that his website was very popular during the campaign, but apparently it's been hacked a number of times. What's good with that? Well, yeah, President Donald Trump, his website properties have been jacked over 195 times, according to a recent a report by the Associate Press. And this is basically saying some of their domain names that they have used, some that are just parked, uh, have been tampered with. Ironically, uh, a lot of the the play on this is coming out of Russia. So, you know, he did his Miss Universe competition back in the day and had some tie-ins with Russia. And now it seems like the hackers that are behind this have come from the country of Russia. It's not clear as to why they're doing it, what's the motive behind this, but we do know that Russia is playing some role in this. I'm anticipating we're going to hear a lot more about this in the forthcoming week. Oh, so absolutely. absolutely. I, well, the one thing that I'd say about this, you know, under why this matters is Cybersecurity is very real, and anyone, including the president, can fall victim to this. Whether it's groups like the Anonymous Group and so many others that are out there, anyone can fall victim to this. And this is why probably one of the other top professions I'd really encourage people to get involved in is cybersecurity. Speaking of cybersecurity, man, Africa is set to top 1 billion mobile internet connections. What does that mean in the game right now, Mike? Africa is on the rise, man. And Shout out to my real Africa. Out there. We've been talking about this. Africa is set to top over 1 billion internet connections by 20. 
2022. And this is interesting because there's a whole new economy, a whole new wave of thinking that's already happening right now. And I think one of the greater gains here is that they will be, thanks to technology, thanks to mobile internet connection, you will be self-sustaining. You can now create new business. Africa will not need to lean on other countries. They can do it for themselves. And I think the first wave we're going to see this is in the entertainment world uh, with artists like WizKid and so many others that are out there making the serious runs out here. They're connecting with their fans, using their smartphones, using social media, and they're also being able to monetize without ever having to leave their country. Awesome. And we're going to see so many other groundbreaking things happening, whether it be in agriculture in Kenya to things that are taking place in Nigeria to South Africa. It's great times right now. Very solid. Now, Kevin Hart has been in the news quite a bit over the last couple months in this weekend. It was definitely for a very worthwhile cause as he ran in the New York City Marathon, correct? Yeah, man. And I'm really big ups to Kevin Hart, man. You know, he's another one that's uh, a maverick making some moves in the world of technology, but he's very adamant about social media. And he recently just competed in the New York City Marathon where he actually outdid former NFL running back Tiki Barber, which was really big. So really just proud to him. He took to Instagram in support of his accomplishment, major hits, major support. And it's just interesting to see. Uh, I think the highlight here is to see how social media is used in our day-to-day lives and how we rely on it for everything. Happy for Kevin Hart, man. Seemed like he could have been on the road that Tyrese was on. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) But Kevin Hart seemingly was definitely uh, encouraged by his wife as she is uh, set to have that baby very soon. But speaking of Tyrese, 50 Cent went in on that man. (laughs) <laughs> what, what, what did you think about that? I mean, I was disturbed. It, it, I mean, I, I just found it really disturbing, and I hate to see any man go through that with their child. Um, you know, anybody. But I, I don't know, man. It just, just seemed a little left in terms of how he handled it and for the way he kind of, you know, handles himself in the public eye in general. Well, I, I find it very interesting just to see how people – engage with social media for everything personal matters family matters uh you name it the subject facebook is our go-to instagram is our go-to and it's no wonder 50 cent banged on uh banged on him a little bit i mean what, what did you think about that i mean i felt like 50 you know 50 you knew 50 was coming you just you just knew like tyree like tyrese uh speaking the way that he has it was only a matter of time. And, uh, you know, apparently with the Taraji thing, you know, he seemed like he was on his, his, his black tie. And then 50 came to undo that black tie. Like, look, man, it hurts. That's all I can say, bro. It hurts. <laughs> Leave it to 50. Please don't play with 50 ever again. Now, the people formerly known as the consumer or the customer well, enter Smart Shoppers 2017. Shoppers today have more ways to shop and save time with services including online, mobile, in stock, out of stock, order pickup, the introduction of voice shopping, and mobile wallets. Now, the only thing missing is drone delivery service. It is going to be an Uber like Christmas as we welcome to the Internet of Things the Christmas holiday season. Absolutely, man. I mean, it's, it's really to your point. The people formerly known as the customers, and the customers now are smart shoppers. And uh, this season, you know, we're going to do a great job in letting our listeners know great values, things, the hottest devices that they can go to purchase, and really remind you that shoppers today have so much power. They have, you know, that's why I have to say the people formerly known as the consumer and the ways in which they shop, delivery service. I mean, it's, it's just exciting times. And that's why I almost even say we're entering it like a Uber-like Christmas. So we got some great stuff that we're going to be talking about this holiday season. You can count on Tech This Out to get the hottest and latest devices. Keep it locked here. Uh, we also got a lot of incentives for you, a lot of uh, free giveaways. So keep it locked. Absolutely. Keep it locked. And uh, we're going to take a break. But afterwards, we got an exclusive for you. Speaking of this holiday season, Oakland Raiders Marshawn Lynch uh, is doing big things right now, and he's killing it. He's a beast on the football field and off the field. He's been making some major, major power moves in the world of tech. He recently inked a money bag deal with Facebook 
for an unscripted reality show. I know a lot of people saw him at his old high school practicing with them. That caused him ruckus. But he's also set to launch Beast Mobile. And with us, we have Lee Hunt, the CEO and co-founder of Beast Mobile, who is changing the game on how we use our phones. Groupons meet the smartphone with this new get down. All right. iHeart listeners, be the first to answer this question. Who was the first ATL rapper to integrate VRAR into the promotion of his most recent trap music album. Call us here at 314 556 6100 here at Tech This Out Tuesday and win a pair of tickets to see the Gold Rush Music Fest with Lil Uzi Vert, Ugly God, the Migos, and so many more in Phoenix, Arizona. For more information, go to goldrushfestaz.com. Right now on the line, man, with Tech This Out News, we have the creator of Beast Mobile, a uniquely new mobile service co-founded by Oakland Raiders Marshawn Lynch. Beast Mobile promises customers a no-contract smartphone service with unlimited talk and text and one gigabyte of data for $24 per month. Lee Hunt, the uh, orchestrator, facilitator behind this, is on the line. How you doing? Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Awesome, man. Today? Awesome. So, uh, Lee, tell me, how did you hook up with uh, with Marshawn Lynch to form Beast Mobile? Well, well, you know, I live in Seattle. I've been in Seattle for 15 years. Big Seahawks fan. And, you know, when Marshawn was here, he was uh, he was instrumental in, like, in my life <laughs> of good wins. And, uh, you know, the idea, you know, I'm kind of passionate about the, the idea of making cell phone service, you know, basically free by compensating users for their time and, and data. You know, Marshawn's personality, his beast mode reputation, you know, it felt like he was just the perfect match to kind of, you know, give the tools to fight back and ultimately end cell phone bills. And, you know, and he's big in community. Uh, you know, I just, I believe in what he's got going on. You know, it's all about giving back and making lives better. And that's, uh, that's where I came, that's where I came from. All those things came together. All awesome. So Marshawn versus the Michael Phelps, uh, Usain Bolt, or even Justin Bieber. Yep, that's what time it is. <laughs> you, okay. okay, that's what's up right there. Um, so, just describe what is Beast Mobile. Well, Beast Mobile is is a basically a cell phone service. We're we're basically launching on uh, Sprint's network. We're going to move into you know other networks uh, you know next year. But it's basically a twenty four dollar a month plan, unlimited talk, unlimited text, a gig of data. You engage in the Beast Mobile app. Um, you do all kinds of different uh, engagements, advertisements, shopping, coupons, you know things that are kind of relevant to you. To earn credits, and those credits can either be redeemed for additional data, um, or if you just want to, you know, redeem those credits directly off your bill every month. You know, you can do things in your cell phone services free. So and that's the idea behind it. Interesting. Um, now, with Sprint, I mean, you know, of course, you said it's powered by Sprint. What separates Beast Mobile from other services like Boost Mobile or Virgin Mobile that are also yep. powered by Sprint? Correct. So, I mean, we're really the only uh, product out there that allows people to basically get paid for their time and data and then basically offset your cell phone bill for that. You know, uh, you know, we share tons of data with Facebook and, you know, all these other, uh, you know, companies that, that are making billions of dollars off of your data, your browsing history, your kind of what you're shopping for. And so, you know, we want to pay, you know, we want to pay the people back. You know, at the end of the day, it's like your data. So why shouldn't you be compensated for it? And we want to do that by giving free cell phone service. And, you know, it's the only service like it of its kind out there. And we feel like this is going to be something that people are going to just flock to uh, and use. Okay, awesome. Um, how were you able to cut consumer monthly mobile bills to as low as $24 per month? That's unheard of. Yeah, so, I mean, it's basically ad revenue, right? So we have a couple different ways. We have, um, you know, we have a lock screen for Android that has pretty cool features, you know, mixed in with advertising. Uh, we have a search, being search bar right in the lock screen. Uh, we have a, you know, a, a news feed that basically is right in your lock screen so you can customize, get your news at your fingertips. Um, and then inside the app. So, you know, there's things that you can do inside the app. So, you know, you can look for restaurants around you. You go to these restaurants, you build credits. Um, you know, you can download apps. You can watch videos. You can take surveys. You know, everything has a credit association. So, you know, you do an offer. You, it shows you how many credits you get. Boom, it's right in your account. And then you either say, hey, I want some more data. You can redeem those credits. Or I'm like, hey, I, you know, I, I got enough, and now I just want to pay my bill every month. And so basically, you know, let you know, letting people get paid for doing what they're already doing on their devices today. And we're coming up with a feature that if you want to get cash, you can get cash too. So uh, doing some pretty cool things and innovative things with uh, with, uh, with the app. 
What type of products are going to be advertised on Beast Mobile? Well, it, it all depends, right? So we want to make it a unique uh, user experience. So I mean, if you're uh, if you're maybe on the on the web, you know, shopping, browsing for shoes, you could get an ad that says, "Hey, you know, go buy this pair of Nikes," and you know, five bucks comes off your cell phone bill. So it's really it's really customized to each individual user. So you know, 